Hi. Now what I've done here is I made a copy of the diagram then that we're given and I would strongly suggest that uh, you would do the same and what we've got to do is mark on all the forces. Now we know that the rod is uniform so therefore its weight of 120 newtons will act in the middle so that's going to be one and a half meters so we'll just mark that as the weight and we'll put in that that's 120 newtons. It acts in the middle so we know that this distance from this support here to where the weight acts has got to be 0.5 meters so it's well worth putting that in let's just put that in as 0.5 meters across there okay even put an arrow as a dimension what else have we got? Well, we've got the reaction at the support D. We're given that that is 80 newtons, so we'd put that in, 80 newtons. And there's got to be a reaction from this support here as well. So that's going to act upwards. We could call it R for reaction. I'm going to call it R with a subscript C though because it acts at C. Okay, it just makes it... Uh, more connected with C. What else have we got? Well I think that's it actually. Okay, So they would be the forces that I'd want to put on here. And we've got to find out uh, X. Okay, We've got to show that it's 0 0.75 meters. Now what this means is that we need to take moments about this point here, about C, because we don't know this reaction here. So it's no good resolving because if you did you're going to find that you're going to include that reaction in your equation. But by taking moments about C because this force passes through that support there there's going to be no effect coming from this force. Okay, so that's set it up. We're going to take moments then about C. So in the usual way, I'd put M for moments. Say where I'm taking the moment, which is the point C. And we need to set up a positive sense for the moment. And it doesn't matter which way we go, whether we go clockwise or anti-clockwise, as long as we stick to what we do as being the positive sense. Now, I'm going to take clockwise is the positive sense but I leave it up to you you can experiment try the other way okay right okay let's have a look at this moment is force times distance to the point that we're turning about so we've got to look at the force here it's 120 newtons and the distance is 0 0.5 so you're going to have 120 multiplied by 0.5 the force times the distance okay what other forces have we got we've got this one the 80 newtons the reaction from the support d now that wants to turn in the opposite sense the anti-clockwise sense about c okay so it's going to be minus we've got the force which is 80 multiplied by the distance that the force is from c that perpendicular distance which is going to be x so we've got 80x. This force as I say has no turning effect about C because it passes through the point. So this is our total moment about C and because it's in equilibrium the rod AB is in equilibrium then this resultant turning effect about C will equal zero. So all we need to do now is just solve this equation. Well 120 times 0.5 is 60 and if I add 80x to both sides I get that 60 equals 80x and if I divide both sides now by 80 we get that x equals 60 divided by 80. Do that and 60 divided by 80 is 3 quarters or 0.75. So we have that x is 0.75. So the distance between C and D is 0.75 meters. 
Okay, I hope you're able to follow that, and that brings us to the end of this part in the question.